Pisces, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. If you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. I also wanted to thank you again for just your loyalty, supporting the channel, and for always being here. You know, um, I don't post every day. I think it uh, it is wise for you to give energy some time to shift, to change, all that jazz. I know some readers post every day, but that's them. I have three children, <laughs> so I have time i need the time that i have right so i thank you all for waiting for the readings and for just supporting clicking the notification button excuse me all of that jazz okay pisces this is a general energy check-in it's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective you could check your sun or moon rising or your sign in venus that may help you to connect the dots or you could have a look at your natal chart that may help you to connect the dots as well there is a possibility that this is not your reading, though. Uh, click the notification button. It either is or it isn't. Please do not try to force the shoe to fit. That will only confuse you. It either resonates or it doesn't resonate. Or you could always book me for a personal reading. All that information is in my description box. Okay, Pisces, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And we have here the garden and the gate in reverse. King of Swords in reverse, Two of Swords, and the Fool. There's a lot of swords here. What's going on, Pisces? Okay, so it looks like some of you in this collective, you finally decided to let go of somebody. I feel like some of you are at a stalemate with someone. You stopped talking to someone, or you broke up with someone. I just heard truce. I feel like some of you may have called a truce with someone, like you didn't want to fight with them anymore. You were just not interested in the argument or the contention, animosity, all of that negative uh, energy. you just not interested in that anymore. So you did made a decision in your time apart or just not speaking to this person. I feel like you really, uh, you start to think about things, maybe go over the relationship, go over experiences that you had in the relationship. It's like you started to take review of things and you decided that this was not the right relationship for you. This person was not the right person for you. Uh, some of you were dealing with someone who was in King of Swords in reverse energy. Oh, oh dear. This person, it, they can be ruthless. They're uh, very negative, low vibing energy. They're mean cruel they bring a lot of conflict this person is very selfish they only think about themselves what can you do for me pisces what can i get for you pisces mm -hmm. how do you benefit me pisces mm -hmm. uh, for some of you too this person they can be uh, they're intelligent and they can be very talkative but they use their intelligence for the wrong things you know or they uh, the things they say are very negative. This is someone who is very uh, emotionally manipulative. They could be verbally, emotionally, mentally, physically even abusive. I feel, Pisces, that you decided to let this person go, let this relationship go. Some of you may have a child or children with this person. I feel like it took you a while to make this decision because... Uh, I, I feel like some kind of energy of obligation. Some of you felt like you didn't want to ruin your family. You didn't want to break up your home. Or you could have been in a relationship for a long time with this person. And you didn't want to, after you put in all this work, you didn't want to just walk away from it. Because then you feel like a failure. But you realize that your happiness is what's most important, right? Why are you going to stay with someone if you're miserable? Why are you going to stay in a relationship because of the children when you're miserable, you know? And you have to be happy too. Your happiness is important. So you decided to let someone go. Uh, Pisces, for some of you, if you were staying with this person because of uh, a sense of security or stability, some of you may have been staying with someone, uh, you bought a house with them or some type of financial obligation, you decided to let that go. Uh, Pisces, you know what? If I could say anything about your sign, you are you are the bosses, okay? Mm -hmm. You get things done. A lot of you are entrepreneurs or you're very, very successful in your job. Even if you lost a job in this whole pandemic, 
You, Pisces, you can think, create something just like that. Okay, I lost my job. I'll just create another one for myself. Okay, I had to change my career. Okay, I will do it. Pisces, this is your energy. This is how you are. You are bosses. Emperor, empresses, 100%. So I feel like you finally realized and acknowledged that you don't need this person, you need you. Mm -hmm. So the care, security and stability that you, you felt like you needed to hold on to with this person, it was like it was, a, it was slipping away, right? You never really had it. You were kind of like in delusion because you're the stable one. You're the secure one in the relationship. This person should have been fighting to hold on to you. And I feel like they were in a way, but it was very, it was out of selfish means it was, if Pisces leaves, then who's going to pay my bills? Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to solve all my problems? Who's going to fix all my shit for me? That's why this person wanted you around. It wasn't from a genuine, I love you. I can't see myself without you. We have a family or we've been in this relationship for a long time. I want to make this work. No, this person had an ulterior motive. That's why they wanted you around. Pisces, I feel too that some of you just started to listen to your very, very strong and heightened Piscean intuit intuition and decided to let this go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you decided to just jump out of the boat. <laughs> yeah. Like, forget this. I'm out of here. I don't need this anymore. I need me. I need to be happy in my life. I deserve to be happy. And you decided to go on the fool's journey, right? So a new beginning. A lot of you dropped somebody that was not serving you anymore. They had served their purpose in your life. You learned what you needed to learn from them, and it was time to keep it moving. So a lot of you may be learning new things. Like I said, some of you may be starting a business or expanding your business or... Um, Somebody wants to expand uh, in their career, so you are learning something, so you can get a, either further designation or certification or something. Uh, an entrepreneur is hiring more employees, or I'm hearing subcontractors, independent subcontractors to help you with your business. But you are expanding, and this is a new beginning. You're very excited about it. Some of you are going back to school. And some of you are starting a new job or creating a new job for yourself. But you have unlimited possibilities, Pisces, and you are exploring them. Even though you do not know what is at the end of the tunnel. You do not know if there's light at the end of the tunnel. You just know that the tunnel that you're in with this person, you need to be out of it. Because it's just darkness. Mm -hmm. So you've decided to tell someone to kick rocks and you're keeping it moving by yourself. You're moving solo dolo. Mm -hmm. For some of you too, I feel like uh, you may have had to choose between two people, mm -hmm. an old person and a new person, and you decided to move forward with the new person. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Pisces, someone's obsessed with you. Mm -hmm. Or there may have been a time where you were obsessed with someone, but you're not anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you realize that you may have been foolish in a, a relationship with someone and you're letting that go. You know what it is, Pisces? You just learned. That's it. You just matured. You're wiser now. And you're doing things from a place of wisdom, right? Okay, what I did things this way with someone, it didn't work. So I'm going to do things this way now. Mm -hmm. When I stayed in a relationship past its expiry date, it didn't go well. So I'm going to do something new and do something different with someone else. And I'm paying attention now. I also feel too, Pisces, that a lot of you are, you're using tact in a situation with somebody you may have just decided that you're not going to be with, or you're not going to get back with this person because I feel for some of you, this person may be coming around or they have already tried to speak to you saying they want to get back together or they want to reconcile. They want to make things work. But Pisces, this person is in king of swords energy, so you can't even trust them. I feel like you already know this, but you don't want to rock the boat because you know that this person is vindictive. You know that this person is shady. You know that this person will go to great lengths to try to get revenge on you. Mm -hmm. They'll try to hurt you in some way. So you're being very smart and strategic about how you are separating from this person. 
somebody is changing uh, the title of a home. Uh -huh. You're either taking somebody's name off. Uh, somebody is putting money away in a safety deposit box. Someone, there is a feminine Pisces in this collective that is being very, very strategic about how you leave somebody, a masculine energy that is just not nice. This person is not nice at all. So you are being very, very, um, very careful on how you do this separation. You want to do it in a way where you can just walk away with your kids if you have kids, or you could just walk away and it be done. This person has no ties, no attachment to you. It's done. Done. Mm -hmm. right because look here this is 30 3 plus 0 is 3 right so this is about manifesting so you are manifesting something new a new beginning in your life and you are being very strategic very careful about it very wise about it okay Pisces I picked some guidance from spirit What's a terrible reading without guidance from spirit, right? At least I think so. And this is from Whispers from Within Oracle Deck. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> and you have here your purpose. Mm -hmm. So spirit wants you to have the courage to speak your truth and to express yourself. Pisces, I feel for some of you, I did feel this energy of confusion where you... You wanted to leave, but you didn't want to leave. You found all these reasons why you should stay, but then you had a whole other, a whole migrate of more um, reasons why you shouldn't. It's like you weighed the pros and cons, and the con side was so long. Mm -hmm. And Spirit wants you to speak your truth and be real with yourself. You know, affirm that you're living your purpose today. Some of you, uh, what you're learning in school or a new job that you're going to, this has to do with your purpose, your mission here on planet Earth. You're here to do something way bigger something um, way more important and you are being guided and protected to do that spirit wants you also to be your authentic self your purpose involves 100 percent you being true to you not serving someone or catering to someone or fixing someone's problems or overcompensating for someone because of their own inner issues. No, Pisces. It's about you being happy and true with yourself, being true to yourself. And that's what spirit wants you to do. That is your purpose. Some of you, you may need to volunteer to find a deeper purpose and meaning in, in life. Uh, for those of you that are looking for a new job, uh, you may have started volunteering and realized that you really like this and you want this as a career or you're studying something. But Spirit wants you to pay it forward, I just heard, right? So uh, give, be good and do good things and karma will repay you in kind. This is also, that karma could just be you discovering what your purpose is and, and moving towards your higher potential. You know, you're here to do something. As you fulfill a daily purpose, your greater life purpose will reveal itself to you over time. Yes. So for those of you that are working on learning something, those of you that are just going about your day, living your life, making sure that your life is right, this is going to lead you. These are steps. These are breadcrumbs on your path of what you should really be doing here. So I feel like this situation with someone, Pisces, was a catalyst for you to discover who and what you really are and what you really want for your life. Because it's you, you always find out what you don't want. I mean, what you want when you realize what you don't want. <laughs> Things become very, very clear. But Pisces, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. Uh, if it doesn't, that's cool too. Another time, click the notification button. With that being said, I'm going to wrap your reading up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.